In every athlete's career, the biggest fear is of injury. With all the physical stress badminton imposes, injury is part and parcel of the game. Hong Kong top women's duo Pun Lok Yan and Se Ying Suet had to call a halt to their partnership when Pun suffered a torn knee ligament in November last year. This came after the pair reunited in the middle of 2015 to bid for a place in the Rio Olympics. They were making progress, but everything had to take a back seat while Pun underwent rehabilitation. Babington Unlimited met up with the duo in Hong Kong to find out how they were doing. We have not decided because my leg has not fully healed. Although it is better now, I still need time to strengthen it and to make sure that I can cover the court with more confidence and last an entire match. It is quite risky to start playing in competitions in my current condition. Poon, a right-hander, and Sir, a lefty, are the same age, with the former older by three months. The 24-year-old's partnership dates back to their junior years, when they were being groomed for a senior career in doubles. To cultivate a good partnership with each other, it has to start with on-court training. When we were training together, we could understand how each of us would react under different circumstances and be aware on how to cover each other. Their on-court chemistry certainly worked out well. The Hong Kongers' breakout performance was at the 2011 Yonex Sunrise India Open. The pair reached the semi-finals of the World Super Series event and saw their world ranking jumping to 15th. The following year, Poon and Se became the first Hong Kong women's doubles pair to win a BWF World Super Series title. They defeated fourth seeds Shizuka Matsuo and Mami Naito at the Yonex Open Japan. But the duo could not replicate that winning form and were without any titles in 2013. Frustrated with a lack of results, Poon and Se amicably decided to part ways. The pair was 13th in the world ranking when they separated. There was no breakthrough. As professional players, you hope to keep on improving. If your results remain stagnant for some time, it might be better to try a new combination to see if that works out. However, the time apart has made them realise that the two are best when paired together. And in hope of securing a spot at the Rio Olympics, Poon and Se decided to get back together last year. They quickly renewed their winning chemistry. With consistency in their performances, the Hong Kong tandem ascended the rankings ladder at an accelerating pace. When the duo finished runners-up at the 2015 Bitburger Open, their position in the women's doubles race to Rio rankings leapt to 11. I think the results were very encouraging. Our partnership seemed to be much better than before. I think we play and understand each other better than we did before the split. It was a very good start to our reunion. 29th November 2015, Macau Open. Poon and Se were aiming for their first title since the reunion. Standing in their way were Korea's Jong Kyung Eun and Shin Sung Chun. The Hong Kong pair were one game up. And then this happened. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh dear. Pun Lok Yan is down. At that instant, I was in great pain. And that was the only thing on my mind. The doctor checked my condition and asked if I could stand. I tried, but I couldn't. Then suddenly, I caught a glimpse of the score and realised that we were so close to winning the game. And that was when I started crying. <laughs> Poon had to undergo knee surgery and spent long periods in rehab. With the right-hander still not match fit and the qualification deadline to Rio fast approaching, the pair can only sit and watch. With only 16 pairs qualifying for the doubles, they can only hope that they don't miss the bus by the time the qualifying period closes on the 1st of May. Poon and Se are currently number 12 in the race to Rio rankings. 
都有擔心過噶，但係 I'm worried, but there's nothing I can do. I can only wait and hope that the pests behind us do not catch up. 追唔到上嚟啦。誒誒，想其實希望就 I do hope she recovers soon, but there are things that are beyond our control. If we are impatient, she may get injured again, and it will affect her subsequent progress and her future. So I know that we have to be patient. It's a race against the clock for Pun Lok Yan to get fit in time for Rio. The Hong Kong duo is staying positive, as the most important thing is to keep believing.